Okay, so today we're just going <clears> to <throat> show you a quick screencast here on the new iPhone application, iVolley Stats Match version. Um, in the current version here, you can see what we're going to do is go ahead and indicate our current opponent. Let's start, obviously, by who we're playing. Today we're going to play Poway. So on this main screen, we pretty much indicate all of the current activity on the game, as well as all the players that are currently on the court. Across the top here, we've got our list of jersey numbers. The little indicator out to the side is the current server. We indicate whose current server it is, as well as who we're playing. Any textual areas that are able to be changed before the game, for example, the serve, if you click on it, if it has a little white arrow up to the upper left, that means that we can actually click on it and change that. So the same way we did with our opponent and our serve. So my current lineup here, I'm not going to use one through seven. I'm actually going to go ahead and use our lineup button, which means I can just put them in in jersey order as they appear on the court from service rotation spot forward. So 20, 16, 13, 15, 14, 9, 17. There's my current club team. We'll stick in the kids. It'll actually add them to my roster as well. So if I didn't already have those players, the roster area is where I can also define their current default position on the court. So anytime there's a new game. So here we're basically ready to start the game. All right. So I'm going to select a particular player that has an action. Any of the buttons that are gray for their text color, those are either implied who did the action or the action doesn't generate a point. So, for example, an ace, I don't have to have 20 selected. Let's back that one back out. If I have 14 selected and I hit ace, it still knows that 20 is the one that served the ball. So, uh, my current front row, let's say 16 goes up and gets a kill. I'm not only representing the current score here. In parentheses, I'm showing the current number of substitutions I've taken. And at the bottom, I'm showing you a list of the actions most recent taken. So, the last two actions, you can tell, number 16 had a kill. Number 20 had a service ace. Pretty much all the buttons on the left hand side are good for our team. So these are digs, assists, attack attempts, kills, blocks, things that are going to generate points for us. Um, anything on the right hand side, again everything is taken from our perspective. So something that generates a point for the other team, block error, hitting error, we're still going to attribute that to one of our kids. Let's say 16 goes up and has a hitting error. It's attributed to one of our kids, but the point is generated for the other team. Pretty obvious stuff. We have added here in the match version, we've added the quality rating here for passing. So service errors in the basic version as well. I mean, receive errors in the basic version as well. But now we're actually going to be given the ability to rate the quality of the attack or quality of the attempt. So. One is a service error of one. I mean, 16 has a receive of one. We can flip over to our team stats at any time and see what our current ratings are for everything. All right, so player 16 here, you can see she's got a current receive rating of one. She's had a kill, one error, and two attacks. You can also see that for the entire match or for everything in here. So there's the individual stats as well as the total for your squad your service versus receive strength, rotational points, so we can see how we're doing in each rotation, what our current breakdown is, and some typical media stats, aces, kills, assists, blocks, and digs, just stuff that you're going to report out to the media. When we show the record here, we're just showing total matches. So if everything ended right now, this is a win for us versus Poway on this date. The current score was this. There's only been one game, one to zero in games. Pretty typical stuff, right? So well, let's go ahead and say that we wanted to have a new game for this. We'll just play them to two points. <laughs> um, we get an ace. We have a service error. They have a service error. We have another ace. And you can see we continue to update who our current server is. Four to one in our games. We flip over here. Two to nothing. We won both of them two to one and four to one. We played pretty short games here, but... You can tell pretty straightforward stuff should make it nice and easy for you to uh, keep track of what's going on in your games. Anytime you make a mistake, hit the undo button. It just backs out the last thing you did. Um, it is unlimited, so you can back all the way up through the last game. Um, hope you enjoy. Let me know if you have any questions. Feedback, please, to jay at vanvark.net. Thanks for watching.